Hello everyone, this is Yakuro with another UE4 tutorial. In this episode, we will look into the uProperty macro and cover the following specifier. Category. The category specifier is easy to use and we use it to categorize uh, properties. Um, doing so, we get additional uh, categories in the details panel and that can make everything nicer to look nicer and cleaner in your uh, blueprint. So let's make an example. For that, we will create some properties. Let's say we have here a fire rate of a weapon, then Uh, firepower, the strength of a weapon or something and something different maybe um, shield level the shield of uh, the current shield level of this actor or spaceship or whatever that is okay for now let's compile without the category specifier and usually when you don't specify it, um, the Unreal Header tool will create the default one and will use uh, the class name, which is my actor. So that will be the top category inside the details panel. Okay, we're getting there. So hot reload finished. Let's create the blueprint and open it. Make sure you select the class defaults, of course. And when we look here now in the details panel, where is it here? Ah, my actor, as we mentioned already and we have those three properties inside this top category now we want to have something like this so we have different top categories here are rep uh, replication rendering actor and we do something similar with our properties for that we use the category specifier and the first item here uh, will be the top category and subcategories are added uh, with this or character. But for now, let's use a top category. Let's put this under weapons. And this one too. And this one, what can we say? I just call it health <laughs> and compile so what we're going to see is we will get two additional top categories in the details panel so weapons and health and inside the weapons we will see the fire rate and fire power and inside the health top category we will see the shield level and we are almost ready. Let's go to the editor and f look at this part, maybe. Uh, yes. Yep. Here we have the weapons top category and inside that fire rate, fire power and health top category shield level. Cool. And let's make the example with the subcategories. Let's say, oops, let's say this is a laser. Oh, sorry. Let me copy this and make another weapon. I call this G maybe for gun. And add the subcategory gun. 
and let's compile this. Now in this case we still have two top categories weapons and health and in the case of weapons we have two subcategories laser and gun and those two properties will be inside the subcategory laser and those two inside the subcategory gun. Yeah, that takes two days somehow. A bit longer this compiling, just wonder why. Okay, almost done. Okay, here, so our weapons top category and we have two subcategories, laser and gun, cool. Fire rate power and then fire rate G and firepower G. Yeah, so nice. Uh, now we know how to use categories and uh, that's it for this episode. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching and hopefully seeing you in the next episode.